Hello and welcome to HC Gaming. My name's Mike. Um, in this series, we're going to look at scrap mechanic um, as an automation engineer. Yeah, previously uh, and currently still an automation engineer. Um, and thought scrap mechanic is kind of got a lot of automation components and stuff like that in it. So it'd be an interesting one to do. Um, if any of you have played scrap mechanic before, you might see in the top left that some things look a little bit different. And that is because I have enabled the Fant mod. Uh, reason for doing that is because there's lots more automation capability that we can do and I'd like to see how far we can push it. Uh, clearly being, this is a brand new game, started from scratch, although I've been in the scratch screen for a little bit while I've been getting set up and now I'm already hungry. So that's not a good start, but we're going to fire on and see what's, what's going to happen. Uh, I have played Scrap Mechanic before, so I do uh, know the game pretty well and some of the stuff that I need to do in it. Um, so that should speed some of the process up, which will be fine. Um, I don't think I can get any food over here that quickly. Um, it's just stuff that I'm going to have to take at some point. I don't quite need it all now. That's not going to go quick enough. So we're going to go back, grab these boxes, grab a couple of these crates, and hopefully maybe get a little bit of food to get us going. Yeah, so I picked the the, the font mod. Uh, there's been some recent updates. There's some couple of extra cool things in there that I thought could be interesting for a playthrough with the uh, scrap mechanic. And that is stuff like this, extra food. As you can see um, on here. that uh, I don't know if it gives me any food, any hunger. I might as well just eat it for the sake of it. Find out. Oh, it did give me a little bit. Now I'm... Oh, whoa. <laughs> I got a jump boost. Haha, <laughs> that's class. <laughs> uh, yeah, so you can see there's there's a lot more stuff been added, uh, including food, um, supplies, the way you collect things and automation that you can craft. That jump is actually really cool. Uh, we, um, there's also on the left there's some scores and stuff that we can keep track of so we can keep track of how many robots we've killed rock players players is not going to be a thing really uh, that's uh, other players in the game that have joined there is a couple of other people that are part of HC gaming so um, I'm sure they're gonna play and join in with us at some point so be interesting to see what they think of the changes with Fant. I have done a playthrough already, um, not recorded, just for my own entertainment. Um, that was to do uh, for Scrap Mechanic in, in itself, um, and I'll I can put some pictures and stuff up of that, uh, so you can see what kind of stuff that I've made before. But I'm curious of more automation. Scrap Mechanic's very grindy. There's lots of things that you need, lots of resources you need, lots of build time. Um, and you can't really automate any of that process and I just think having an additional automation front would be pretty good oh, we'll, e. we'll have one of these that'll help us out very well perfect now we need the energy core which is up the top of here so we'll fire on and go do that um, yeah the other thing that I thought was quite interested and you'll see on the left that there's also armor speed and breath um, that is to do with some additional armor pieces that you can now craft and wear and that will give you better better things like it says there. The other thing is just above my uh, menu bar at the bottom so you can see a 1 and then there's like a, a scale. Uh, this part of Fant Mod is a leveling system so XP. So we get XP for killing robots um, which is obviously cool and we can use that XP. So I'm already level 1 so we'll have a let's have a quick look at that before anyone comes and kills me. So you do slash skill um, like this um, I've changed now back as you can see to limited inventory I wanted to make sure that we're not no cheats or anything through this walkthrough just um, good old fashioned resource collecting and let's see how quick and easy we can make it for ourselves uh, as you can see in the skills level one I've got five points to spend uh, we've got health food thirst loot refine and farming uh, all pretty good stuff actually um, I do believe you can't cap these out they can't max them out to a point where um, there's no diminishing returns so I believe for health you can go up to 50% damage reduction here uh, food I believe is a 75% if you go up to 100 points you get 75% less on food and thirst 
uh, loot is a percentage drop chance for additional things um, refine um, again is the same as loot and I believe farming is the same which some of these are going to become real good and real handy at the same time um, I think I'm actually for the first five points I think I'm just going to bash a couple of points and loot because we're clearly going to be collecting some things and if I get a 5% chance to maybe pinch a couple of items that could be useful that'll be good uh, there is more items in the game as you can see um, there's also a couple of other enemies in the game as well um, and one of the things that Fant has done uh, pretty well is to try and keep it at least somewhat balanced um, so there is aspects of balance that he's put into it which I think is really good and really fair so let's crack on up here uh, the first core that you have to collect is up here so we can power our ship back up oh we've got an enemy here that's good uh, you're, gonna, you're gonna go away Doosh, uh, some nuts there that's a new new item Food. Everyone likes a bit of food. Oh, why did I take one? That was silly. Oh, that is one that I don't want to be anywhere near. I've not even. Oh my word! I've not even fought these yet, so I have. No oh. I'm not gonna lie. That scared the bejeebus out of me. Oh my word. They are gonna be horrific. I think I'm a little bit more scared of them than I am. Uh, I collected everything out of there, yeah. Then I am um, uh, farm bots because if you know, we build a nice vehicle, we build a nice base, they turn up. Oh my word, that's going to be a pain. Let's get these refined. That's actually part of the skill he should have. He should have added increased refine speed because that that is simply annoying in this game. I think people will understand what I mean. If you've played it before. Uh, right, okay, we've got another chest over here. Click this. And pick the core up. Perfect. Uh, you can go a lot higher in this. Uh, I think other people who've played it before end up sticking and just sticking here. But actually, there's a lot, lots of places you can go if you explore. So you can actually uh, jump onto this bit. Have a have a ganders up here. It's good to explore and scrap mechanic and look around, see what you can find. Um, let's refine this one. Fab. Uh, we jump through here. Oh, we've got another chest. I'm picking up some good stuff here. See, way more chests up here. If you keep coming, keep going. That. Um, I've not actually started the game again since they updated the normal campaign um, with the ability to mark up where the uh, mechanic station is. So it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting for the new playthrough as well to see how the map's changed and, and what's gone on with that. I built a tree house in my last one, which was uh, kind of interesting. Um, uh, it was a tree house, but it was like the trifecta. It was right next to oil. It was right next to um uh, chemicals which is quite important and water as well which is good uh oil is probably the more important one just because of what you get out of it which is cool um fuel is somewhat annoying in this game but i don't think it'll be in this playthrough i think with fun they help you out quite a lot there's a couple of other different engine types you can use to use in to use fuel a bit more efficiently than before um i'll take the other bucket why not uh, we've got the car, so I'm going to go and run back to the base. Uh, I believe this is a speed boost. Let's try this out. Oh, hey! Oh, look at that. That is awesome. So much better. Yeah, enjoyed that. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, right. I need, uh, need to fill up. Let's throw up my other bucket in here. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. I need to go this way and pick some water up and come back and uh, put the wall, uh, put the fire out and then we should be able to put the core down throw that in there like that throw that in there like that there we go perfect uh, requires master 
battery. I have this. You can have the master battery. Wee! Powered up. Awesome. Now we've got a little scrap crafter. Uh, to be fair, a lot of this stuff's really bad and probably not needed at all, so we'll probably not make a lot of vehicle here. There's no real need. This is important. We can take this now. So we got the logbook straight away. And uh, let's let's us hit L, which means we can set a waypoint to the craft mechanic station. And as you can see, we now know where it is. We now know it's over there. So we can kind of collect and head over that way and collect some things. We're gonna run out of a bit of inventory space, but I'm not too bothered. I'd rather get over that way. Some oil there. Nice to nice to know about. Oh, he's looking he's looking buff. Uh, bed for a spawn point. I'm not really interested in that. Microwave, cactus radio. No, don't really need any of that stuff just now. Nope. There is some seeds and stuff over there which would be useful, but I'm gonna wait out. We can build a little vehicle once we get the mechanic station, and then we'll we'll nick it from. We'll come back and grab that stuff really quickly. Uh, oh, I could do with some of those. Oh, I do have another one. I'll keep that. I'll keep that on me, but I don't think I should use them all the time. They're, they're pretty neat to be able to run around that quickly. Which is cool. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments and stuff down below if there's like anything about scrap mechanic that with the fan mod that would be interesting to see. Like I say, I think automation would be pretty cool in the sense of how quickly we can fill up and get resources automatically. I'm also going to try and consider lag. Uh, Scrap Mechanic is pretty notorious for being uh, laggy and too many resource, too many things cause lag. Um, so I'm going to try and... Oh, he's dodging me a little bit. Come on then. One down. Uh, I do. I don't think they drop anything in a more regular fashion, but there is a couple of better and easier ways to get uh, component kits and stuff like that, which uh, might make my life a little bit easier. Oh, come on, big man, let's go. There is another version of uh, the Haybot. This is the Haybot, but he's like uh, got cardboard around him, so he's like. Uh, a lot tougher, uh, more, more armor and stuff like that. So we've got to be a bit careful. Oh, there's my XP bar going up. It's interesting to see. Uh, we will refine this one. More component kits, more oil. We're definitely going to run out of space soon. See this guy over there. Oh, another walk thing. Nice. Uh, right, he's gonna cause me some problems if I don't pay attention to him. So let's. Uh, oh, we've got more than one. Here we go. Here we go. Zoom out for this. Makes it a bit easier. Come on. Oh, how did he die? So, oh, there's an armored one. See this guy. Oh no, he's got loads of armor. Loads of cardboard boxes all over him. I'll oh, bring him in the light. Look, you need to see him. Look at this guy. <laughs> Is he drinking? Is he drinking some juice? Speed him up. Ah, oh, he takes a lot more hits. Oh, that's neat. I hope you get more. Do you get more for refining him? I'm not gonna know because I didn't look beforehand. Oh well. Refined, and let's refine this guy. Perfect. I can see there's a chest up that way. What is that noise? What is that? Uh, I'm gonna go this way. That does not look like something I want to fight. Oh, what is that? Oh, and a hair butt. Come, big man. What do you want? Let's go. There is a little bit of a 
like trick you can do if 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 some people want to play it that way. But you can basically put your lift down, jump on your lift, and go up on your lift and attack and attack them. But they they will bring your lift down when they hit you. Um, but it does sometimes make it a bit easier to kill some of them. Um, what food have I got on me? Oh, I've got a couple of beets. So get them eaten, I think. Food on the go. There's something with jetpack over there. What is that? Oh my word. Okay. I feel like this might be a bit. I said an easier playthrough, but what is that? Oh my word, I don't don't even know if I can fight that. Oh what the monkey is that? Oh, I got it. I got it. What did he drop? Circuit board and a battery. Oh, I was breaking my mouth. Breaking my mouth for that one. That was creepy. Okay, got all those things. Sort of looked like the way up, but I don't think it is. Did we did we check inside here? Yes, we did. Right, let's go back outside. There's usually an like an easy way up, so doesn't look like it's around here. Let's have a look around this side, baby. There we go. Oh, it's an easy route. Oh, I've got more point more points to spend. Slash skill. I'm actually going to put it on a bit of thirst. Thirst is always quite the pain in this game. Let's whack five into there. I'm sure we'll get points pretty quickly, so it's all good. Well, I say this was the easiest way over, but maybe not. Okay, let's, uh, let's make our life. Bit easier. Thanks. Something fell down there. Let's uh, pick this back up. Anything good up here? No, just those things. Some gas. Component kits. Don't think I'll ever complain about component kits. Some more food. Why did I not stack them together? It's all good. Alright, how's our inventory doing? Looking fine. Right, we know the mechanic station's over that way. Um, I actually have some some running stuff. I saw a chest somewhere. It's over there. More of those guys. Ah, screw it. Let's go. Oh, yay. Oh, rough. Oh, I just imagine you took. I don't know whether you can take them together. I don't know whether they stack or anything. Like if I took the the jump in one, can I run and jump at the same time? I have no idea. Ah, there's a house. I thought there would be a house here. Um, this is a really good place to start off and get wood. Basically, we have enough. We have enough space to be able to do it as well. So it's really a good idea to come here. Um, and basically rip these places apart. You can kind of break this stuff. You could use it if you want to use it, but it's the wood that, that's kind of important. Um, wood's light, uh, uses less fuel to start off with uh, before you can get like metals and concrete and stuff. You're gonna have to build stuff out of wood, so we might as well uh, use some of this stuff. Oh, hello. Can we, can we, can we not? Hello. Don't attack that thing. Oh, he he got me like. I think he's been a bit. He's been he's been fair there, hasn't he? Oh look at that. It's like a chest. Loads of space. We'll nick that for now. Nice. Alright, let's break all the stuff we don't need. See all the stuff we do. 
perfect. All right, go back into first person. Some of this uh, dragging and collecting is much easier in, in first person. There we go for that. Take that. We'll take that. that. Not bothered about the sign. Lights are cool. Nice to have some lights once we get to the mechanic station. I think that'll be our like kind of first place that we we start doing uh, some automation. Uh, I'm not sure I'll make it the, the full base. There is less of a. I have had a must about with the fan mod, and there is a little bit less of a need to uh, to build somewhere else because there's ways of teleporting and, and transporting materials. Uh, even uh, even out of distance as well, um, out, like out of render distance, uh, which means so usually say you built a, a pump station of some sort and collected resources, you would have to be close by for it to effectively render those things in the game, and then that would um, if you didn't do that, then you would have a bit of a problem. Uh, this thing seems to be stopping me now. Uh, let's just move that out of the way. Perfect. Nothing like a lift for, with for our mechanic. We'll take those. Uh, we'll take the last of this wood. Oh, some potatoes. Love them. Perfect. Not bothered about much else, really. Uh, let's not do that that way. Let's do it this way. Perfect. Yeah, there we go. That'll do. There's just a little bit more wood on there. Uh, there's a hole of the building over this way as well, so there's plenty for us to kind of take. Uh, these seem really good for like beginning chests. So I'm going to take them. Again, look, now we're running out. Now we're starting to run out of space. Uh, I've got quite a lot of wood. Uh, I'll take a little bit more get that up to 256 and then we'll, we'll call that a, yeah and we'll leave that there perfect that'll do is there any uh, some more soil we can take because we're going to need that at some point what's up here some tomatoes oh, scrap mechanic doesn't want to let me wow that was yeah that was that was how physics work not you gonna let me see what's up there? Or do you just not like me being up in your in your house? There we go. Uh, brilliant. So basically, you were telling me not to come over here because there's nothing over here. Thanks, Gabe. That was that was good. That was handy. Uh, some of them and a bit more soil. Uh, we don't need too much. We'll probably make an automated farm start like a mini automated farm to start off with uh, there is a way to make a farm that doesn't trigger the defenses and stuff so uh, raid timers if you don't know what that is um, when you farm too much the farm bots come after you that's pretty much how it works if you if you plant too many things down they go no 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 and they come and get you um, so we don't really we don't really we can have that at the start, it's fine. It's not too bad, I will do like a bigger farm. Um, but there is ways to do some automated farm that do the minimum number that you don't get attacked by. And at the start, it's kind of useful because we can... Um, ah, speed boosts, man. There we go, look at this mechanic station already. Boom. And I haven't wasted any resources on the other stuff. Now, when we go in here, we, uh, we can't really do that much. Because there is no power. We need power. It requires power. As you can see, we need another... Master fuel cell. Like, oh, why didn't we keep the fuel cell from the other place? Well, because it's over here. They didn't really put it that far away. I thought they might have put it like up a building somewhere, a bit higher, harder to find. But it's in here somewhere. One of these. I can't remember. It's been a while since I uh, played. But I think one of them has a an enemy in it. It's probably this one. Yep, there it is. Can we get it with the. Should we get it with the door? Oh. 
uh, inventory full. That is hilarious. Let's uh, get rid of one of the buckets. Don't really need that at the moment. Uh, pop some in. I actually don't need any of these wheels. Um, let's just put the carrot down here. Didn't even need to do that anymore, but never mind. And we take this. Run over here. Over there. Anyway, right, let's get this. Where's it gone? On here. And that's. Uh, yeah, power restored. Alright, again, not the best sort of stuff to uh, to use. Uh, we need to make something out of here. And that thing is this is a craft bot. That's what we want. That lets us make much better things. And look, we only need a certain things. We only need a couple of more component kits. That's it. Not even a lot to get there. So, component kit hunting it is. Now, we can put some stuff down here, and the fact that I already have these things is genius. Now we have a couple of chests that we can whack in, and this looks like a cool enough place that I can whack a bit of storage already in here. Look at this. Love it. Uh, so we can get rid of all this a lot. Uh, we'll put the soil in there too. This one. We'll whack a couple of lamps in. Put this in. Uh, that'll do. We don't really need the rest of it. Uh, but a corn. We'll make some milk at some point. We've got blocks. Perfect. All good. So we need a couple of bots. Anyway. Oh, some more beeswax. I'm just going to collect stuff. If I see stuff, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go and collect it. I know I'm going to need some of it at some point. So we might as well. Well, is, it, is that the house we were at before? I think so. If not, let's go get a toilet seat. Anything else around here? I thought I saw. I did. I did. My eyes do not deceive me. Ah, 10 component kits. Brilliant. Let's go and have a quick look over here. There's a couple of bullet bases around, which is pretty neat. Um gonna make things pretty useful. Now we're looking for the little toilet. Toilet is here. There it is. We want the toilet seat. Um, let's put that on our hot bar. Yeah, so if anyone doesn't know, the, the toilet seat lets you place it down, but you can kind of get in it. So now I'm like up here. Yeah, so this just makes climbing and, and kind of getting up places much simpler than it did before. Uh, we might as well grab that since it's another chest freebie oh. chest we have a, a nice tower here we go for a, oh we've got an explosive one oh my word ah now can we can we use these to our advantage let's uh, keep them close by to each other oh we totally can oh that's cool Trusty toilet seat. There we go. Neat. Yeah, that was interesting, wasn't it? See, we would have missed out on this bad boy. A gold one up here. Ah, oh, we'll take that. Perfect. See. There's one up here, but this is sometimes a bit high. So if you jump on here. Get a bit of height. And then... Oh, let's see. See, there we go. Got it. Easy stuff. Nick the toilet seat. Take that on the way back down. Knock yourself out. Mechanic station's over here. Uh, fall damage is a thing in scrap mechanics, so we, we kind of need to be careful. Uh, one of the best ways of dealing with fall damage, toilet seat, or uh, chair, or whatever you want, is uh, basically stick the chair on like this uh, delete you you're gonna remove the seat uh, not the seat sorry you're gonna remove the lift and at the same time you're gonna jump into the seat so you remove the lift and jump in the seat we no damage awesome anyway back at the mechanic station and we're here uh, I think we have everything 
that we needed. Oh look, it actually puts the stuff in there. That's pretty sweet. That doesn't happen in a normal game. We've got the metal on us. We've got everything else. Let's get the mechanics to uh, the craft bot going. Craft. Perfect. Uh, go down here and get your mate to stand right underneath there and you'll get crushed. Whee! Awesome. I'm going to stick it right here for now. Brilliant. Uh, look at all this extra good stuff. Perfect. Okay, so things that we need to do from an automation point of view to start off with, um, we need to get some more stuff. It's probably need to be um, food. Food's obviously a good thing in this game uh, to get it out of there. So we have this now, so at least we can build some good stuff. Um, I am tempted um, to, to build here and, and keep it where the mechanic station is, you know. Crop mechanics notorious for lag and, and things making things harder to build stuff and automation. And one of those things is if you have a big building um, with lots of blocks and lots of connections, um, that can cause issues. Whereas things that are already spawned into the building don't cause that sort of issue. That's why warehouses and uh, things that we can't see at the moment, but warehouses and stuff don't have that sort of problem. Um, oh, better kill. Kill this guy. Oh, he's coming. Coming then. These seem uh, way easier than they should be. The mechanic of them attacking is pretty, pretty appalling. Yeah, that was a, that was a bit too easy. Uh, yeah, so there's there's that sort of stuff. Um, so I am tempted. I think at the start, I'll probably do this, but uh, you know, drop in the comments, um, leave me a message, let me know what you think. Uh, if you think we should move to somewhere else and, and make it a uh, you know, a different place, then, then that's grand. Um, usually there's good reasons to do that, and that would be, uh, you know, that you don't have water, or you don't have oil, or you don't have other things in uh, close proximity. Um, so therefore, building a base closer to those things would be great. And I, I did that in my last build, and that was fine. Now, we don't really have so much of a problem with that, because within the Fant mod, we have the jack, uh, pump jack station, I believe, um, somewhere around here. I wish there was like a search functionality within Scrap Mechanic. That would be fantastic. Um, pump jack here. So this pump jack here uses this. So what you put this in liquid, and then this can connect to whatever, right? But it can be out of render distance. It can be out of sight. Uh, that means it doesn't matter where it is. It could be anywhere on the map and effectively it will still work to this location. So that removes the... That may, basically makes it completely automated to get certain product to this location. Um, so doing it here or doing it somewhere else is, you know, is we're happy with doing that. It doesn't necessarily need to be... Um, we don't necessarily have to have a base where everything's great, you know, where everything's closely located and everything is. Um, so we'll take that into consideration. I think it's a good one to think about. Um, other than that, uh, we're going to need some more stuff. Um, and we're also going to need to have a look at a farm. All right, fair enough. That's cool. Uh, so food's, food's going to be a thing to start off with. Uh, I did see water somewhere. Where's the water? I think it's over here. Yep. Um, and let's bring it down here. How far can we go? Oh, it's pretty much as far as we want to go. Nice to make it at least somewhat straight. Um, not really bothered about this. Can't plant one here. Sometimes it'll let you, because you know, scrap mechanic likes likes to be nice to you. Other times, not so much. Um, and we'll go one one more along this way. One, two, perfect. Uh, now we can stand in the water and simply throw. Boom, boom, boom. Just like that. Getting dark already. Dark already. Oh, didn't even get it. Wow. Wow. 
last one down here. Fantastic. Did we get that one? No, we didn't. Okay, uh, I think we'll go with some beets. Beets are a good, good start. Couple of them and some, some tomatoes. Fantastic. Do a bit of hobbity swim. It's the most efficient way to swim. Jumpity jump. We're back, we're back with a minute ago. All good. In the hood. Okay. So. Mission out at some point, I think. Twenty six seconds, twenty two. Can't collect them yet. Sure none, none appeared but got stuck anywhere. Okay, right. In the next episode, let's have a look at um, getting some components together for uh, a vehicle so we can have a mooch around and um, we'll go and investigate some of the stuff that we can find in the area. Um, mainly just collecting resources to start off with. We can't do it automatically until we get some stuff. So let's go collect some more stuff. Glad the farm's working and that's okay. Uh, that just seemed a little bit, bit of a problem, but it seems fine now. Um, it was great, yes. Thanks for watching. Um, join us in the second episode. And uh, I hope that the content has deserved. Uh, subscribe from yourself. If it has, then please do that. Um, other than that, I'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye now.